All right. Cool. It so the one that looks so this is the transverse septum area and that separates the cardiac and the thoracic area from the digestive tract down here and it is mainly separated by where the liver is and this whole structure is the entire liver so you have your right lobe you have your median lobe or your medial lobe and then you have your left lobe and the liver is going to be the, lar the largest organ in the body um, so then we have the stomach, which is pretty much the second largest organ. And this is the entire stomach right here. So if you open it up, you can see these little folds inside. I mean, it's pretty full right now, but there you go. Now you can see the folds, which are the rugae. And we have the, let's see, the cardiac area of the stomach, which is up above. So like this region when it first comes in and then you have the body of the stomach which is the largest region and then the pyloric area which should be this area where it comes down and curves and it curves yeah so it's curved kind of like a J and then this is the last region of the stomach and then you start to enter the spiral valve or the small intestine area right or there's the duodenum and then the ileum which has a spiral yeah so the duodenum is going to be connected to yeah where the pyloric section is and that is right in here so it's going to be underneath the pancreas which is right here so the duodenum is this section in between my fingers and then you go down and you see the ileum of the stomach which is all of this small intestine my bad small intestine and that as you can see has a spiral valve so it's really clear to see that so then we have the colon which is Pretty much this little area down here. You'll see. Make sure I get this right. Yeah. So it's like this little area down here after the ileum and the spiral valve. So it's just this section before you get to the cloaca. And then the rectal gland is this protrusion, little nubbin from where the colon is. And that's going to be close to the cloaca as well. So that's the rectal gland. And then you have um, the, gallbladder. the gallbladder is going to discolor um, typically, so it usually is a darker color. So it actually might be this part right here, the greenish part, okay. is what I think the gallbladder is. Yeah. That would make the most sense to me because and it's then usually it's a green. Right next to the yeah. medial liver. Yeah. Yeah. And then here's the medial liver, that yellow, the fattiness of it, mm -hmm. and then the gallbladder is this section. Okay. So then pancreas is again that little, that small part. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a flap that overlays the uh, pyloric section of the duodenum of the small intestine and you can kind of put your finger. It's usually attached by this small thin membrane to the section. It's not really attached or adhered to any of the actual organs, just by the membrane. And then you have the spleen and then the pericardial cavity I'm assuming is up here this section oh, yeah, yeah. and then the pleuroperitoneal cavity would probably be like in this area is what I'm assuming okay. cool.